In this video, I'll show you how you can trim and crop your videos in Adobe Captivate. Sometimes your client will send you source videos that they wish to use in your e-learning projects that you're developing for them. And when you go to import them into Adobe Captivate, you realize that the video is too long or it isn't the right dimensions. Perhaps there's extraneous stuff in the video that you want to get rid of. And quickly you'll discover, if you take a look at my screen here, if I double click on my video, which I've already imported into the library here, there is no edit option. I really can't do very much with video. Fortunately, Adobe has thought of a solution for you in advance. And while it's not commonly known, Adobe Captivate comes installed with Adobe Media Encoder. So you have this software already on your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel here and actually close Adobe Captivate down for right now. If I click on the Windows Start button, and you may not have it pinned to your Start menu as I do, but you'll find Adobe Media Encoder somewhere on your computer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Adobe Media Encoder. So here's my original video here that I've received from my stakeholder that I need to trim the length of, but also to crop to not include the monitor that's on display in this video here. And we'll bring this into the queue here. Now to edit some of those settings, obviously it chooses uh, by default the match source high bitrate option. We can click on that and make some changes here. So this opens up the export settings window. If you've got output selected, I would recommend that you go to source here and this will allow you to crop. In this example, uh, I'm going to click on the crop icon. And one of the things you're going to want to do is uh, change the dimensions here to make sure that the heart monitor is not included. If you simply grab the selection handles and move them, of course, you can select any portion of your video that you wish. Uh, you may want to enforce the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, if that's what you're doing in this case here. So we'll choose that. And of course, with 16 by 9, even if I resize it, it's going to enforce the crop proportions there. So let's say this is the portion of the video that we wish to keep here. The other thing, of course, we mentioned is that we want to include just 10 seconds of this video. It's a 12 second clip. So what we're going to do is use the playhead control here to find that point on the timeline. You can see here on the right, there's the duration of my output file. And here's the time according to my playhead here. So I'm just going to move that to the 10 second mark. Like so. And then I can click on the set out point icon to make sure I'm just including the first 10 seconds of that clip. So now I'm happy with these settings here and I can go ahead and click OK. It'll return to the main Adobe Media Encoder window. And of course, now we're ready to encode that video or in this case, re-encode that video with the shorter length and the new cropped video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Start Queue. There we go, it's a short video. It only takes a couple of seconds here. So now you can see that if I minimize Media Encoder and we open up Adobe Captivate at this point and we drag the new video onto our slide here. In this case, I'll choose Slide Video and click OK. This comes in at full resolution. My project happens to be 1470 by 900 here. So I'm just going to resize this for that particular dimension here. We can also uh, right click, of course, and align vertically on the slide as well. So now we have just the doctors in the background, the saline drip. And as you can see on my timeline here, it's exactly 10 seconds long.
Of course, once you've published your project, don't forget you can send it out to your stakeholders and subject matter experts using Review My eLearning. You can capture feedback from multiple reviewers and see it all in the same place. Reviewers can even see each other's comments and you know exactly what slide in your course that feedback is for. Try out Review My eLearning for free by using the link in the description of this video so they know I sent you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.